Hello everyone, welcome to the EliteWaveTestFocus.com YouTube channel. This is Henry and today is uh, October 21st, <coughs> Wednesday. The time is around 3 a.m. GMT. And today we will be <coughs> looking at the chart of the Euro. This is a 45 minutes chart. So it's a short term kind of overview here. Uh, so what we are looking here, at least in the shorter cycle, <coughs> is um, uh, we finish W here and X here as we can see and currently within the width Y so width Y is in the form of a zigzag in which we are currently ending with A of W which should be ending soon and then from there we can get to this pullback before higher again now right side is higher that means we do not like the short side because the right side is higher right so short side is going to be uh, decline is going to be counter trend and therefore it's not reliable and it doesn't have to be this deep uh, but um, as long as we stay above 116.80 here in any kind of pullback uh, we are expecting at least one more push higher in the C leg so now let's talk about uh, a little bit about the larger degree uh, it, it is uh, quite amazing here in euro dollars in the, in the larger degree there are in the larger degree still many different possibilities to be honest uh, and only time can tell which one is going to play out but at least in the shorter cycle if we are only talking about shorter cycle then it's very simple looking for pullback to hold above 116.80 for one more push higher now let's take a look at the four hour okay just limit if we just limit our discussion in the shorter cycle what happens here is uh, we got this w we got this x in the four hour this is our w and x so we are talking about the cycle from September 26 right we're talking about September 26 cycle uh, we got a higher high sequence we broke above W already here and so we're looking for an ABC in the Y potentially can go to equal like of this it can go to uh, 119.06 so from only from short term point of view that's is basically what we are expecting a rally to 119.06 and then from there uh, we anything can happen again right but shorter cycle that's what we're expecting now larger degree um, we got this euro pulling back in three swing here right ending at a perfect equal leg um, actually right so it is a correction it is a corrective structure here right one two three hundred percent bounce now we get a couple of possibilities here in the larger degree right now if we look at the weekly now this is the most important long-term view here we broke above this 2008 trend line bearish trend line suggesting that that this is likely already uh, done this this decline this 12 years decline is already over and so now we should at least correct this entire 12 years decline right in a big three bounce that's minimum expectation so uh, seems to me that we only have a first leg here since we bought them in 2017 so we can get at least one more push higher here at least in three waves uh, if we are talking about long term so I think the only question here is uh, we got a nice rally since we bought them in the March 23rd that's the COVID-19 low right now the only question is uh, are we going to correct this cycle first right are we going to correct this rally and how big the correction is going to be now if you take a look at the 4 hour we did have a 3 pullback already but it seems like if you look at this rally from March that correction seems to be a little bit too shallow right uh, and and it may even still be part of the same cycle in other words you can try to label this let's say as a one two three four five and if we break higher you can even say we are still part of the same cycle we are ending five ways up from much low and then maybe from there we can get a bigger pullback again in three waves which is one possibility right so we can technically break above this and extend higher within with five and do a bigger pullback that's possibility number one like I said the sh the longer the the larger degree has still has couple of possibilities here now second possibility is um, is that we help right we can hold below here 
and then after we reach here we start to turn lower again like this and then this is what we call a double correction right it is a WXY to correct this entire rally now in that case if you look at the weekly chart it may potentially retest this trend line now this even the way we throw this trend line uh, it can you can adjust it right I mean I, I, you know I'm just purposefully throwing it like this seemingly we haven't retested that trend line uh, typically when you break above long-term trend line you can retest the, the trend line first before it resumes the trend now if I throw it slightly different like this now of obviously uh, if I throw it slightly different you can see it has retested the trend line so in other words you you don't know for sure whether this is really already done and we can go up or we can do double if we do double uh, like the way I presented before if I throw the trend line slightly different it makes sense to do a double for example to retest that trend line and then getting the next support at the next hundred percent of this WXY right so you can think of it as a three swings like this getting support here at the same trend line then from there we can resume higher again so that's possibility number two uh, if we fail to take this out here now possibility number three is the most bullish in which case then uh, that will be uh, basically you know that this cycle finish here and this is really your entire correction with a shallow twist pullback and then from here we just continue to go up like this in an impulsive way now of course we got US election coming we got stimulus discussion between Democrats Republican um, you know and the narrative suggests that if there is a big stimulus it will be uh, you know a bad from the US dollars right so I think that's what the narrative is saying so all in all though I mean is the the next stimulus bill I think is a matter of if not a matter of, I mean it's a matter of when sorry my bad not a matter of if right so eventually it will come it's just a matter of when and also how much uh, and there is a saying I mean there is now a chatter if uh, let's see if the Democrats can take over in the Senate and Biden can win then then they can you know introduce whatever amount they want again go to five trillion dollar stimulus if needed right so that could potentially be US dollar bearish if that's the case at least that's the narrative so uh, all in all we are in a very exciting period uh, election is very close November right so we have to be ready in uh, in any scenario now what is what is clear is that the direction in the long term uh, seems to be pretty clear to me we should be expecting more upside but the the medium term is when we need to be ready for adjustment right it can do double here for example retest it can be extending higher and still be five ways from here and get a bigger risk pullback again like this to retest before higher or it can just go straight higher so we got three different possibilities in the medium term but if we just talk about shorter cycle it's very straightforward as long as the pullback stays above here we should be looking for one more push higher to finish this 100% extension from September 26 into 1.19 okay so hope you enjoyed this video as always uh, we cover something like this uh, regularly in the live trading room also in the live session every day you can check our service we have 14 days free trial the link is provided in the description of the video and again my name is Henry and I'll see you all again tomorrow have a nice day everyone